first, we're learning more about a shooting that resulted in officers firing and killing at a local man. That's where we start tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brooke Lennington. The shooting happened back in October. 41-year-old Jared Kemp was shot by officers after police say he threatened a family member. Kemp died two days later in a hospital. And just within the last few hours, and or just within the last hour and a half, that is, the Riley County attorney announced the new details in this case. So KSNT News reporter Cassie Nichols was there. Cassie, what'd you learn? Brooke, the Riley County District Attorney Barry Wilkinson's Wilkerson says that the shooting was justified. Kemp was shot by Riley County Police after repeatedly kicking his father on the ground and he was holding a shotgun. It's believed by police department that Kemp's father could have died by the forces of these kicks. In this scenario, an officer doesn't have the opportunity before making a split second decision to talk to you. To other people and say, hey, you see the same thing I'm One seeing. One of the two shots fired hit Kemp. Both officers that were involved are still on administrative leave, and there's no timeline right now as to when they will return. Live in Manhattan, Cassie Nichols, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Cassie. We do know the Lawrence Police Department investigating that case. Now,